things are starting to turn bad. Whatever weird desert curse Rocking Horse Dreams put on me has, has taken its effect. Uh, so the, the main thing that happened that was really hard on me is Spartacus. God, this guy's trailing me and chasing me everywhere. Has come in on Marcus Aris, and I knew, I knew if I, if I, well, I didn't know, but I thought if they came to blows, I would maybe lose out, and I did. Marcus Aris has taken s some damage. His perfect face has been spoiled by Spartacus's knife-like fist, <sighs> right to the face. Horrible. Um, other than that. Agent 911, I spent all this time running from Spartacus finally to get to the Colonial Labyrinth where I wanted him to be so he could protect things. Pat Garrett got some challenge or something that let him uh, banish him. Luckily, he didn't banish him too far. That was kind of an interesting choice on Rocking Horse Dream's part. He could have put him over here. Maybe he doesn't know what I have in mind. So perhaps all is not lost. However, he did get a lot of cards during his turn. He has four cards to my... I guess I have three, but one of them's Wound Mender, which isn't doesn't feel totally worth. It doesn't feel like it's that useful right now, but but maybe he's so score wise. He's a we're starting turn seven. He's ahead in the Colonial Labyrinth, the Modern Labyrinth, and probably soon to be in the Ancient Labyrinth. So that's I, I guess I'm getting a little pessimistic, um, but I don't know. I just feel like. I feel like the walls are closing in. I'll be okay though. I'm gonna do some breathing and um, take solace in that the future is still mine. So I really had no choice but to have Marcus run away, and that's what he did. Ran down the the, the halls of the Colonial Labyrinth here, and got here. Spar Spartacus may chase after him, and he could certainly hit him again if that's really what he wants to do, but. Um, Marcus will be able to escape the turn after that. I don't think, I think it's very unlikely. I don't know. Yeah, well, if he would have to amaze his penetration roll after he successfully hit him in order to um, kill him in another hit. And, you know, Marcus isn't helpless. He does have a hammer, so maybe it won't be worth his while. We'll see. He seems like a pretty violent individual, but there's his, I, I'm hoping to lure him with Agent 911. I had Agent 911 coming this way, so maybe he'll be like, oh, there's my old fresh meat, and I'll go after him, I'm Spartacus. Uh, um, I don't know. Other than that, I had these guys move. Praxian got to go this far. That was pretty great. Um, both Art and Glyne and Geronimo, I decided to have go to the Modern Labyrinth. I was going to have Geronimo head down to the Colonial Labyrinth again. However, there's all these gun guys that are down here. I don't know if you see these three here, and um, they all have cards, and I don't know what their cards are, so if he went down there, he could well be a sitting duck, which would not be so good for him. And that Sarge finally made it to his challenge. Um, we'll be able to do that at the end of the turn. I, I think his chances are pretty good. It's muscle-related. He's got good muscles, so... You know, me, I, I went into this this movement phase feeling like the game was over and Rocking Horse Dreams had won, but now I'm feeling a little bit better. Maybe I just needed to go jogging. Greg got the uh, Ancient Curdian Advanced. And he's doing pretty well over here. He has 911 moving in. And then he has a nice concentration of forces right here. My guys are all spread out. Melina, said Annie, Spartacus, they're doing okay. I, Pat has the katana that I would really like to get to Spartacus, but I don't really want to waste the movement. I don't really want to fight him. And he has the flechette thrower, the range of four. So if I can actually get her into position, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, 
which will give her a chance to at least hit 911 as he's coming in here. Yeah, that works. Maybe next turn I'll try to get the throwing axes to Pat if they both get into the labyrinth where, where they're a little bit safer from opportunity fire or if they get behind 911. Okay, so let's go ahead and move Pat also. Hopefully maybe that'll even keep him out of the way. She might confront Pat. Um, I'll just go ahead and hope he doesn't. <laughs> I don't know how, how good that strategy is. Actually, maybe. Should I just leave Spartacus there to kind of get Pat's back and they can transfer weapons next time? Hmm. And then they would all have, or they would both have six, so it would cost two each to transfer. And then one, two, three, four. So it would take two turns to get there. That's interesting though, I kind of like the idea of Spartacus having that, that katana kind of slows things down. Um, but I think there's enough concentration there that... I'm ahead by one. He has two people going in. I have three people going in. I can still hopefully stay ahead. All things depending. I need to get someone over to the modern labyrinth after this. He's, um, Arden has a weapon that I don't know about that he's probably trying to get to Geronimo. Um, and then Praxian, he has that varmint rifle. So I think he's probably just going over there to help out anyway. Um, but that is a long trek for Melina to get there. So I stopped for a minute to figure out what I'm going to do with Melina. Um, it's 33 movement points to get to where my guardian is, um, which would take her five turns. And from her to get to where the guardian is now, not counting if I can advance it at all, um, that would take her four turns. So I think I need her more there. Um, and I am going to leave Spartacus here. And get him that katana next turn. Um, I hate to do it, but... Three, four, five, six. Nine, one, one has six. So he can get here, or he can get here. I mean, in defensively speaking, he has a pretty good shot of hurting these guys, even if they're both attacking him because his special power. Um, so, Spartacus is going to get a card this turn. Let's just move him. Um, sorry, Mr. Lawman, but you're going to be under the bus for this next turn turn. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we'll go pester Marcus a little bit more with his Warhammer. Um, hopefully he doesn't hit. <laughs> Has a pretty good chance of doing some damage. So maybe actually. Yeah, let's just... There's not really any advantage with him being weaponless. He'll get there next turn. 
Pack can get there next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, he can't. Uh, oh well. Alright, let's move Melina. I'm not gonna vacillate with her. She'll just move her seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, Gawain's not gonna be able to make it because he only has five movement. Um, so let's see what he gets. He gets the mental melee atop the Aeropagus, which is a blue wits challenge. Can you hold your own against a host of long-winded Greek philosophers? Um, perhaps Boris with enough vodka could do that. So let's get a seven. Seven. So he passes. He gets a card. Boris gets a pistol. It's not an auto pistol, but it's okay. All right, let's dismiss Boris. He's modern. Let's see if we can get a three. Or a two or a four. Be okay with that. A one or a five. It's okay. It's really anything but six. One. Um, let's see, that's a long way around that Colossus. So if we put him right there, he can cut up through there. And now that he has a pistol, and the end of round seven.